follow and share with all your cat and and Periscope and everywhere else. All right. Good morning. Share, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Share, share, share. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Denise. Share it on Twitter. Share it on Periscope. And share it on Facebook. All right. We're going to get started here pretty soon. We'll get started here shortly. All right, we're excited. We're excited. How to win the money game. Part one, ladies and gentlemen, just part one. How to win the money game. Part one. Welcome, Meerkatters. Welcome, welcome. All right, if you're just joining us on Meerkat, go ahead and restream it. Go ahead and restream it. Go ahead and restream it. All right, welcome, everybody. Welcome. This is your first time putting new in EW. This is your first time putting new. Hey, thanks, Junior. Thanks for uh, following and restreaming. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. This is your first time, ladies and gentlemen, putting new in EW. In EW there in the stream. We can recognize you. And if you're not new, uh, just shout out. Give me. Let me know where you're coming from, what city that you're coming from. We like to know uh, uh, our reach, how far outreaching we are. Okay. All right. Go ahead and give the hearts. Go ahead and share. All right. If you're watching this live, go ahead and hit the para dude in the corner. Hit the para dude in the corner. Hit the para dude in the corner and share it right now, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to get started here in 30 seconds or less. Go ahead and share it there in the corner. The para dude. Share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Periscope. All right. Meerkats, you guys go ahead and restream it. Let's get the let's get the followers up. Uh, let's go ahead and get everybody in because we're about to get started, right? Remember in school, they used to ring the bell. One was the end of class and one was the beginning of class and one was if you're running late, right? <laughs> you're going to be late. So welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, Blue, welcome. All right, put the city that you're from, you guys. Put the city that you're from. Go ahead and rep your city. Thanks for inviting your followers. Go ahead and do that on Periscope and Twitter as well. Go ahead and do that on Periscope and Twitter and Facebook to live this dream that we've heard about here in America. All right. And not just live it. Not get your peanut head. OK. All right. So, OK. So I don't know what that's about, young. But anyway, so uh, to teach us what I've learned when I was a stockbroker. All right. And the secrets, right? The secrets of, of understanding money uh, that I learned from watching the professional uh, uh, investors. And, you know, once you get in that circle, ladies and gentlemen, then it kind of opens up, you know, opens up a whole nother world, a whole nother reality, right? Not from the outside in, but as a stockbroker from the inside uh, uh, out, Right. So that's a privileged position, and I and I I was very blessed. And the type of person I am, I don't get just to hoard for myself and my family, but to really to share with those uh, from my community who are less fortunate. You know, many many communities here in America, you know, they get information and they bring their community in. The Indians do that with a hotel, owning hotels. One get in. And they go and get the others in their community and bring them in, right? Other nationalities do that. You know, Nigerians get into pharmacy and they pull the, you know, some other Nigerians in. So that's what I, my desires are doing. That's what I want to do. Help out everybody, right? But they intentionally go in and pull people from their community and say, hey, let me show you how you can get a motel, right? And now the Patels. You know, the Indians probably more own more hotels based on ethnic than probably anybody else, you know, per capita. All right. So so that's what that's what my desire is. And before I get into that, all the all the students for the secrets to wholesale and real estate after this live stream, I'll send you an email, several emails over the next couple of days about the bonuses and how to start activating and take advantage of those bonuses. All right. So we want to talk about that. And now moving forward, we're going to broaden our scope to include money. All right. To include mindset, to include motivation. So you want to stay plugged in and you want to share 
with your friends, right? Because that's where that's what we're going to show. I'm give you a more comprehensive view of money and where real estate fits. And at the end of every broadcast now, we're going to open up for questions and answers. All right. So go ahead and get your questions ready and uh, and go ahead. So at the end, about 10, about uh, 10 till uh, we're going to go ahead and open up for questions, meaning 20 minutes after we're going to open up for questions. So please have your questions ready there at Meerkat. Have them at Periscope. All right. Have them ready at Periscope. Let's go ahead and share right now, ladies and gentlemen. We need to get some more people here. Right. It's just interesting, you know. Uh, by me being a stockbroker and, and, and that opening up, you know, my imagination and opening up my possibility, ladies and gentlemen, you know, things became more apparent. Things became more aware. A lot of times there's an old saying that goes, sometimes you can't see the trees, the forest for the trees, meaning that you're so close on something to where you can't see, you know, you can't see the bigger picture, right? You're so close to the Forest, you can't see the trees, right? You can't see the bigger picture, right? So, so that's what I realized. And it's just interesting. In a country of the land of opportunity, right? The, the, the land of the, the free, right? To where it leads in capitalism, right? It leads in free enterprise, right? And here we have, you know, money topics that we're not interested in. We have money topics and we rather, you know, be entertained, right? We'd rather be motivated. We'd rather get this feel good, right? From 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 emotions than to than to go ahead and learn about the thing that's really gonna make us, you know, more complete. Right? Money is a part of it. They said next nothing's more important than money uh, other than oxygen. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and invite your friends. Wealthy people have wealthy friends. And they become wealthier. Right. So if you're by yourself, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and share right now. Go ahead and restream it right now. The four or so that's here at Meerkat. Go ahead and restream it. All right. Go ahead and restream it. Go ahead and share it on Meerkat. Go ahead and share it on Periscope. Go ahead and do that right now. So we're going to talk about real quick. In about 10, 15 minutes, so I can open up for questions, how to win the money game. How to win the money game. This is part one. I'm going to start doing series, you know. So this is part one. And we want to deal with, right quick, ladies and gentlemen, perception. Right? We want to start at the beginning. The beginning of something is not techniques. That's why in school you learn how to read, right? You learn how to spell, Right? You learn how to communicate in, by writing and speaking, right? So there's fundamentals to every, you know, information, especially if it's new information. So part one, we want to talk about how to win the money game. And it all starts with our perception, our perception. It's fair for me to say that your perception of money has to change. Your perception of money has to change. Even better than that, ladies and gentlemen, it has to flip. It has to flip. Okay? It has to flip. What we've been taught in school and societies from our parents, right? For the most part, it's wrong. For the most part, it's partially right. For the most part, it's flawed. Right? In a free enterprise, capitalistic society, it's flawed. Right. Why? Because it's part of the mass education. Right. It's part of the mass education. You know, one thing I learned as as a stockbroker. Right. As a stockbroker at the firm that I was at, uh, uh, Dean Witter. Right. It's an environment where at that time and, and I believe it's still the same. You know, you don't get a lot of folks helping you. Right. In the financial service industry as a professional. Yes, they have professional organizations, but at your firm, it's very competitive, right? At your firm, you're not going to find someone that's going to just take you by the arm and show you. And, and that's not wrong. I'm not saying it's not wrong. I'm just giving you an idea how this, this, this money world works and how this environment works. You have to qualify yourself to get help from the seasons, seasoned brokers at the firm. Rightfully so. Because their time is limited and they can't waste it 
just with a guy, person that shows up and looks good, smart, and sounds good, right? They have to sit back and watch and see if, if you're worthy of their time, of their time, right? So that's how it is when it comes to money. Nobody is just going to come and teach you about how to get rich. That's something that you have to pursue. That's something that you have to be determined in acquiring the knowledge of becoming financially free, right? That, that is not taught in school, right? And once we rise above the masses, once we show ourselves that we're sincere and we're true and we're committed to learning and doing what's necessary to have financial freedom, right? Then you see things will start coming towards you. People will start coming into your life that can help you. But long as we're needy and we're begging and we just don't have the proper knowledge and information, then that will be very, very limited. So it all starts with perception, ladies and gentlemen. Our perception of money has to change. As a matter of fact, it has to flip. It has to flip, right? Get a good, go to school, get a good job. You know, that's, 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 that's not working. Why is it that we see, ladies and gentlemen, why is it that we see those of us who have children? Why is it that we see that that formula does not work, but we're still promoted in? You know, it's very interesting to me, especially in the black community, how, you know, entrepreneurship is a forsaken thing. Entrepreneurship is an afterthought, right? Creating your own job and creating your own business, thanks, Sister Candace, is an afterthought. And it's like that in, in most communities. It's apparent, right? Have degrees, right? Don't work. Have degrees, can't work. Have degrees, underemployed. Here we are in America where people come from around the world for better, for free enterprise, for capitalism, to be their own boss. Hey, hey, Brother Abel, to be their own boss, right? And here we are born here, many of us, most of us, and we stand in line for jobs, right? We're getting two and three jobs, right? We're getting two and three jobs. So it's our perception, ladies and gentlemen, it's our perception of it. And I call it a game, how to win the money game, how to win the money game, part one. How do you do that? You say, a game, Daryl. Money is too serious to say it's a game. It's just too serious. There's nothing funny about money. Right? Only time nothing funny about money is when your money is funny. <laughs> but if your money not funny and your money is right, right, then, then it is fun. Don't you think your life would be more fun if we have more than enough in the bank? Don't you think your life would be more fun if you felt like learning how to play the guitar and you just went and bought one? Want to learn how to play tennis and you just took lessons? Don't you think it would be more fun? So part of the perception change that we all have to make, all right, is we have to look at money as a game. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, as a game. Right, as a game. See, just, just w words change perceptions. Right? It's the words that we use. Words change perception. Call something that, that you have a negative perception towards, perspective on. Change it. Change it. Change it to something fun. Game. It's hard to think of the word game and not think of the word fun. It's hard to think of the word game and not think of, you know, it's going to be enjoyable. Right? It's hard to think of a game and think that you're not trying to win. You're not trying to accomplish a goal. Right? So that's what we're talking about. If you just joined us at Meerkat or Periscope, my name is Daryl Muhammad. I'm an entrepreneur, real estate investor, coach, trainer, teacher. And I'm talking about sharing with you what I've learned starting from my career as a stockbroker. Financial advisor, they're called now, right? Stockbroker. That opened up the floodgate, if you will, ladies and gentlemen, about this money piece, right? About this economic piece, 
about this financial freedom piece. It really started in the 80s with real estate investing, right? Started studying real estate investing. That's when I first heard the term financial freedom. But when I became a stockbroker, that blew it wide open. That blew it right open because, I mean, my parents didn't talk to me about mutual funds. They just taught me what your parents taught you. Stay out of trouble, go to school, get good grades, get a good job. Right? But we haven't taught and saved, right? But as far as understanding money and looking at it from a game so the money game. So look at it as a game, ladies and gentlemen. Why? Because then you'll perceive it as fun. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if we programmed our minds so to where uh, uh, money was fun? It was a game. It was a game. How many of us play spades? How many of us play dominoes? How many of us play Uno? Whatever it is, right? You know you're going to have some good hands and some bad hands, right? But you still play. Nobody makes you play. Nobody forces you to play. You play because you want to play. You play because you want to win. Ladies and gentlemen, I need for you to share this live stream right now. Hit the pair of dudes, swipe it. All right? Hit the pair of dudes, swipe it. Go ahead and get rid of this guy here. All right? Um, go ahead and swipe it. From the to right, from the bottom, if you're on the replay, and if you're watching it live, go ahead and hit the pair do, ladies and gentlemen, share it. This is some good stuff, man. I wish, see, I tr I'm trying to be the type of person that I wish that I could have met 20 years ago. I'm trying to be the type of person with the information and knowledge that I have, try to be the type of person, mentor that I wish I had. So go ahead and share it, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and share it. Right? Go ahead and share it. There is no lack in the universe, only abundance. Right? Perception. We're talking about perceptions. How do you see things and what lens? Your mind is the lens from which you see things through. Right? And every picture has words associated with it. Right? That's a tablet. That's a cell phone. This is a pad with my notes on it. And that's a bill. Damn, that's a bill. Money going out, right? So we're talking about perception. Look at money as a game. It's a game, ladies and gentlemen. Have fun. Make it fun. All right? Some of us have to try harder than others. Make it fun. Can you imagine? Just imagine if you will. Can you imagine if you programmed your mind, your thinking, and actually, actually treated it like a game? Can you imagine how much fun and enjoyable would be to open bills and pay bills if, if you change your total perception too. This is a game. This is a game, ladies and gentlemen. This is a game. That's why you hear them use the word, the, the phrase game changer. Hey, thanks, Kevin. Thanks for liking it. Thanks for restreaming. I appreciate you, man. Uh, game changer. It's a game. It's a game, ladies and gentlemen. Just because you play games don't mean you don't take it seriously. It just means that the objective is to have fun. The objective is to win. The objective is to, is to you know, come out ahead. Right? So can you imagine if you start looking at it, perceiving anything that has to do with money as a game? Over time and over consistent mental impressions... This is a game. This is a game. Man, this is fun. This is a game. Man, I won. I sold some more products at, at sole purpose. I won. Right? I, I'm moving my chip down the board. I made another book in, in spades. Right? I made 15 more points in dominoes. Right? As a game, ladies and gentlemen. As a game. I'm just laying down the groundwork. We're going to get into more, you know, things as, as we progress through the parts of how to win the money game, because it's a game. It is a game, right? And there's rules to every game, and I'm going to get into that on future streams. All right, I'm running out of time. Only hit the first point. All right, um, second point. Uh, so there's rules to the game. But before we play any game, no matter what it is, ladies and gentlemen, we have to first understand 
how, there's that word, how the game is played. How the game is played. Even more so than the rules. Athletes don't know all the rules. They probably know a small percentage of the rules compared to what the umpire referee knows. The referee umpire probably knows 90% of the rules. The athletes probably only know 20% of the rules. But they know how to play the game. They can play it 20 times, 100 times better than the referee umpire. Right? All right, let's move on. Oh, here's another uh, uh, how to win the money game. Stop comparing your finances to other people's finances. Right? Stop comparing your finances, your financial situation to other people's financial situations. That is a losing proposition. Right? You're going to always lose. If you compare yourself to the starving people in Cambodia... You're going to lose. Why? Because you're going to get comfortable, right? You're going to get lazy, right? You're going to get lazy. You're going to start believing your own hype. Donald Trump said when he went bankrupt, he went bankrupt because he, he started believing the press and what the press was saying about himself and he got lazy. See, when you compare ourselves with, with people around the world, and I think they say about 3 billion people around the world live off of $2 a day. If that's the case, then yes, you're doing very well. We're doing very well. I'm, I'm balling. I'm balling out, right? So I'll get comfortable. That's a losing proposition. Then if I compare myself to the Rockefellers <laughs> and the Kennedys and the DuPonts and, and the Rothschilds, <laughs> That's a losing proposition, right? Because the, the deck is stacked <laughs> in their favor. They have multi, multi-generational wealth already in motion. I couldn't live long enough to put a dent in comparison to what they have. So that's a losing proposition. That's a lose. You're going to lose either way. So don't compare your personal financial situation to other people. These, this is how you win at the money game, right? It's mental. T.R. Becker says what? Money is an idea. So it's all mental, ladies and gentlemen. It's all mental. It's not physical, all right? Now, here's the other thing. Understand that no matter how much money you get, right? No matter how much money you get, just understand that we're always closer to zero dollars, then we are to maxing out. Then we are to personally maxing out. Remember, because we're not comparing ourselves with anybody else, right? So, so we're closer to zero. That's why we can't get comfortable, you know? That's why we can't get comfortable. All right? Please don't play around the people. All right. We got it. We don't get good. Thanks for sharing. All right. Thanks for sharing. Invite your friends and followers and uh, and and they'll thank you for it. Right. Because everybody won't tell you techniques. Everybody won't tell you invest in gold, invest in real estate, invest in stocks and bonds and mutual funds. But I'm telling I'm just sharing with you some gems, ladies and gentlemen, that I learned as a stockbroker. If your mind's not right, as soon as the slightest situation comes. Right. You're pulling your money out. You're pulling your money out. You're pulling your money out. Thanks for sharing with your Twitter followers. Thank you, Allah, uh, Allah land. You're right. You're pulling your money out. And I learned as a stockbroker, you lose money, not based on the price of the stock, but you lose money when you sell it at less than what you bought it at. Now, I'm not advocating stocks because I don't believe anymore in stocks and bonds with my knowledge, with my, my constant studying. All right. And I came to some realizations that we're going to share here on, on, on these on these live streams about about the stock market. All right. About the stock market. So don't compare yourself with other people, ladies and gentlemen, their financial situation. You're doing yourself a disservice. And remember, no matter how much money we get, because we can't make money, no matter how much money we get, we're always closer to zero dollars than we are to maxing out. Right. So we have to play the game understanding that. Right. We have to play the game, understanding the realities of things. That's like a football player. Now, he doesn't focus on it, but a football player is aware 
that he can get hurt at any time. He doesn't focus on that. He's not freaking out. He doesn't attract that to himself. Right? But he's, he's not under any illusion. No matter how strong he is, how well he's been eating, how much he exercises, right? He's still just one hit from not just being hurt, being paralyzed, right? So that's how we have to play the game. Just like they play football, we have to play the game with the understanding of knowing that I'm closer to zero. No matter how much, 100,000, 200,000, 200, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. You know, a lot of us around here thinking $100,000 is a lot of money. And if in comparison, that's why you don't compare, it may be. But in reality of things, in the bigger scope, right, it's not a lot of money. $250,000 a year, um, the IRS says, that's when you start breaking out from the, from the masses of the people uh, financially, right? When your income is $250,000. $250,000, that's when you start breaking. So you're at the bottom of the list at $250,000. All right, so let's move on. So um, you close zero. Now... Here's what you need to do. Here's another thing we, we need to do to win the money game. Look at it like a race, ladies and gentlemen. Like you're running a race. Right? You're running a race. And when you're running a race, you're trying to make time. You're trying to beat time. All right? Now, get your questions ready. Uh, everybody at Meerkat and Periscope, we're going to go into questions in two minutes. All right? So, you're running a race. Right? You're competing against yourself, if you just want to use that word competition. You're competing against your potential. You're competing against where you are now and where you can be. That's the race, right? That's the race. Now, who's racing with you and who you have to beat in the race? Talking about the money game. You have to beat time, right? Because we're only going to be on this earth for so long, and who knows when that ends. Who knows when that ends? So you're racing against time. We're trying to beat time, right? Here's another thing we're trying to beat in this game called money. We're trying to beat life circumstances, right? Right? Because life circumstances are going to slow us down. So we're trying to outrun life circumstances. I mean, get so far ahead of life circumstances. So when it comes, we, we have enough space, enough gap between our financial potential, the money game that we're playing, and the circumstances. So when we stop playing the money game or slow down, which we should in, in some circumstances in life, right? It's appropriate that you have to t put money in its place, and that's on a shelf sometimes, right? And then you deal with your life circumstances. So we're out running. In this race, this game that we're talking about, this money game, y'all running time and y'all running circumstances. Now, here's the big one. All right, here's the big one, ladies and gentlemen. You're out running inflation. Inflation. What does that mean? That means the devaluation of the dollar. That means the weakening of the purchasing power of the dollar. You have to, in the money game, you have to outrun that. If not, you're like a rat on a wheel, right? Robert Kiyosaki calls it the rat race, right? Because it's just on a wheel. Getting a lot of exercise, probably in shape, which means you look good, right? You look good running on that wheel. Get off the wheel. Ooh, Daryl, you so slim. You got 5 10% body fat. Man, you doing well. You living good, huh? Life treating you well. <laughs> Little did they know I was running on a on a hamster wheel. <laughs> I wasn't making progress, right? I was just making motion. All right. Somebody put that in the live feed right now. Are you making progress or are you making motion? All motion is not progress, but all progress is motion. All right. This is understanding, ladies and gentlemen. You have to understand the game first. And you can learn the rules as you go along, right? You have to learn the game first. We have to learn the game first. So we're out running time, time on earth, life on earth. We're out running life circumstances. Thank you very much, Sister Candace. Uh, life circumstances, right? And then we're out running inflation, right? Inflation, ladies and gentlemen. 
That's what we're outrunning. Is your money outrunning and outpacing, outpacing money? That's the game. That's the game called money. So look at it as a, as a game, ladies and gentlemen. Have fun, right? Have fun, and uh, and you have a better chance of winning. All right. And then we'll go into some other things tomorrow about the rules and with you know more, probably more about perception. I don't know, but just stay tuned. All right. I want to encourage you to go to my website, DarylMohammed.net. DarylMohammed.net. I should have written it down. DarylMohammed.net. All right, that's where you can find all of my stuff, what I'm doing, all right, and uh, you'll find some, you'll find uh, some articles that I've done, that's, that's the hub, ladies and gentlemen, where we can connect, all right, that's the hub where you, we can connect, that's my internet real estate, right, that's my office, if you will, but here it is, DarylMohammed.net, I'll, I'll put it up, somebody can put that on the screen too, to the Candace or somebody, put in there, DarylMuhammad.net. It's two R's, two L's, M-U-H-A-M-M-A-D, DarylMuhammad.net, all right? That's where you find uh, the live streams that I've done, and I'm going to put some, put, post some on uh, here in the next couple of days. Uh, thank you very much. Let's see, is that right? Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Appreciate you, Allah land. So uh, that's where you want to go. That's where you want to go. Subscribe, sign up, and then that way you can stay abreast on everything that I'm doing. All right. So you won't be dependent on live stream. So with that being said, let's go ahead and open up for some questions. If you have some questions, thanks to the cat. If you have any questions, put them in the live feed. If you have any questions about what we covered today, about the way how to win the money game, how to win the money game. Any questions right now, ladies and gentlemen, real quick, one minute or less, we'll answer some of your questions. All right. All right. Right now, I'm reading a book called uh, Second Chance by Robert Kiyosaki. I'll tell you more about that later. All right. No questions. All right. Well, go to DarylMohammed.net. Go to DarylMohammed.net. Go ahead and sign up, subscribe, and anything else you see around there, go ahead and click and be com com familiar with what's going on on my website. With your insight about the stock market, would you advise keeping funds? No, I wouldn't advise keeping funds in 401k plan. The, the uh, stock market is, is, is highly manipulated by uh, the big Wall Street uh, firms and government, right? And also, it takes, unless you got started, like, it's, like you've seen before, unless you got started with $50 a month when you was straight out of college and you do that every year for 40 years, then you have $3 million. Most people don't do that. So once again, time, you're out racing time. So here I made 51 yesterday by God's grace. If I'm only going to live 20 years, which I hope I don't, hope I live another 50 years, but just for argument, if I'm going to live until I'm 75, I only have 24 more years to make whatever amount of money or, or, or get whatever amount of money or earn whatever amount of money I want to earn or, or, or be worth whatever net worth I want to, I want to, thank you very much. I want to, um, I want to earn, right? So no, I don't like 401k plans. All right. How do you move into move if you still work with a company opposed to withdrawing it? Okay. Well, just don't contribute. Right. Robert Kiyosaki, and he's absolutely right. He mentions in that book, Second Chance, when you look at it. Right. It's just another way for the big boys. Right. The government and their friends to reach into your pocket and take money out before you get it. Right. They take out taxes. Right. Before you get it. And then if you contribute to your 401k plan at work, they're taking that out before you get it. Right. So it's just a way. It's just something that the government created the 401k uh, industry. The government created a 401k industry. So their friends on Wall Street and at the firms at Wall Street can now reach into your pocket, reach into my pocket. Well, they don't reach in my pocket, but reach into our pockets before we even get. So that's once again, that's less money you have to go out here and build true wealth for yourself. And become financially free. Right? Then they penalize you if you take the money out early. 
just from my stockbroker days, 10% tax right off the top, no matter what your tax bracket is. They know at least 10%. So they're going to pull tax, tax that out on your early withdrawal. And then secondly, a 20% penalty. So you're going to lose 30% off the top. Who gets that? The IRS gets that. The IRS gets that, right? That's what they get. So no, no. For, for a little man that's coming up, I mean, with those that got jobs, you know, they don't think they're little people. But no, I, I wouldn't do that. I would. There's some strategies that I've learned I'll share with you uh, that I've shared with you that uh, that you, you know, go ahead and just get all your money and do something else with it. That's why you have to learn the money game, ladies and gentlemen. You have to learn the money game. Those that know the money game do not play the same way that you and I play that don't know the money game, right? You can watch an amateur, right? You can watch an amateur and know they don't have the same skill set as professional just by watching. Not because one's fat and one's not fat. Because if you have a keen eye, right? If you have a keen eye, then, then you'll notice that. Oh, that person, that skill set is low. They're amateur. They haven't, they haven't perfected. Well, they're not competent in that their skill set, but they're out here playing football, right? They're out here playing basketball, out here playing whatever. So that's the money game. That's why I wanted to come to share with you guys the money game. Who's teaching you the money game? They're teaching you how to get it. Everybody teaches you how to get it. And that's only half of it. Because once you get it, what, what are you going to do with it? Let the, let the advertisement and marketing people seduce you out of your money to as you look up, you broke. 76% of Americans live from paycheck to paycheck. That means there's two problems. One, you're not making enough money. And two, you're not holding up to, enough of it to, to, to invest in yourself. So both of those problems have to be solved, okay? So thanks for that question. Any other question, ladies and gentlemen? Any other questions about... How to win the money game. How to win the money game. Right? It's not how much money you make. It's what you do with the money once you not make it, once you get it. Right? That's why athletes, entertainers, right, are known for being broke after a certain amount of years of, of not making or getting that money. After retirement. Meaning they're not out there earning any more money. So you look up there broke. Broke and broke in. Hey Ashley, welcome, right? They're broke and broke in. See, we've been taught how to start the race, but we haven't been taught how to run the race. Been taught how to start the race, but we have not been taught how to run the race. When I'm teaching you, ladies and gentlemen, from what I've learned and I'm practicing how to run the race. And you get better and better at running the race, the more you run the race. Right? So perception. How to win the money game part one. We're talking about perception. And we can't spend too much time on perception. Because once our perception clears up and we see more clearly, then our actions will change. Our language will change first. Then our actions, perception, language, which is words, and then your actions will change. If you're not getting the results that you want, if we're not taking the actions that are required, then just reverse engineer it. What perception and language and words am I using? And what's my perception? What language and words am I using? And what's my perception? How do I look at money? How do I look at people with money? How do I look at rich people? Okay? Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so very much. If you have any more questions, go to DarylMohammed.net. DarylMohammed.net. Post your questions there, and I'll answer them, or I'll come back tomorrow and answer them. But post them there, or you can tweet me at Daryl Muhammad. You can periscope me at Daryl Muhammad, and you can Facebook me at Daryl Muhammad Fan Page. All right? So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Went a little bit over first time. We've got to work out the kinks. So we'll fine tune it and we'll keep it within 30 minutes. So thanks for being with us. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the retweet. Hey, Coach Glenda, appreciate you. All right? And reach out to me. We're in this thing together. We're in the same boat. Rowing. Right? Row, row, row your boat. I see you at the top, not from the top. Because you, your family, but most importantly, 
your community in America needs your help.